hey guys welcome back in the last video what we have covered is we have covered how to create other dns entries for our systems uc systems now in this particular video what we are going to cover is we are going to install the certificate authority so that we can uh, sign the certificates for our uc systems properly so in order to do that so we'll again uh, log in back to our uh, Active Directory uh, AD server, which is uh, 192.168.1.175, which is also acting as a AD as well as CA. So now what we have to do is we have to install the certificate authority in this particular system. So in order to do that, you have to again nav navigate to sister server manager here and then click on manage, add rules and features. So now you have to click on next here click on next again click on next again and here you have to select this active directory certificate services so I'll check this box now click on add features click on next click on next again click on next again now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to um, install the certificate authority as well as uh, I'll also enable a web enrollment so that you know you can also uh, sign the certificate using the web services. So I'll check this box, click on add features. Now click on next. Next again. I'll not change any of the default option. Click on next. Restart the destination if required. I'll click on yes. Install. So this installation should not take more than a couple of minutes. You have to, um, you know, also do the configuration of the authorities, uh, certificate authority as well, once this uh, feature installation is done. So let's see. <clears throat> okay so the feature installation has been completed now here is an option configure our active directory services on the destination server so we'll click on this and now in the credential i will not change anything we'll click on next and then what we are going to do is we are going to check these two boxes certificate authority as well as web enrollment click on next we'll make it as an enterprise ca then root ca then create new private key then what we are going to do is we are going to use uh, allow administrator to in interaction when the private key is accessed by the ca we'll check this box and then we'll click on next click on uh, we'll see a uh, common name for this CA. So we'll try to change this name for the CA. We'll change this name to this name. Okay. Now click on next select specify the validity period so we'll keep it for five years click on next click on configure so it is currently installing the certificate authority as well as the web enrollment so web enrollment is very helpful if in case if you want to uh, you know enroll the certificates uh, remotely so both the installation has been completed successfully. So we'll click on close. Now let's try to close this. So let's verify if the installation is successful or not. So I'll open Internet Explorer. So I'll type HTTP, then the local host, IP address, or maybe the Windows machine, host name, slash, sir. So it is asking me for the username and password. So I'll key in the default credential. 
so I'll add this okay so we are able to you know uh, open the certificate authority server so that means if we have to issue any of the certificate we can request for a certificate using this URL but if you notice at this moment this is currently running on HTTP but we have to make it uh, you know work uh, using HTTPS and also we have to create a sort of a template so that template will be used to you know uh, enroll the or uh, create the certificates so if you try to request for a certificate at this moment and submit a certificate so it says no certificate templates could be found you do not have permission to request for a certificate from this CA or an error occurred while accessing the active directory so in order to you know uh, overcome this issue so we have to you know create a template so let's try to search for certificate authority so click on this certificate authority from here then we have to come here then in the certificate template here we have to right click on this particular certificate templates and then click on manage then what we are going to do is we are going to duplicate web server certificate template so we'll right click and duplicate template and then We'll click on general and name this as web server and client certificate and we'll keep the validity for let's say two years let it be two years and then what we are going to do is allow private key to be exported in case of in case of extension we are going to edit and select as client authentication so click on ok all right and then now finally we'll click on apply ok so now we have to issue this uh, particular template so that we can use this template uh, in our web services so we'll click on uh, certificate template right click new certificate template to issue and then we'll select web uh, select the one which we have created just now okay so we'll select this web server and client certificate click on ok so now this certificate has appeared here so now let's try to close this and let's try to see if we are able to access this certificate or not certificate template or not request for a certificate okay we are not able to access this so sometimes what happens is we may have to restart the system in order to you know uh, access the template so what I'll do is I'll close this and then restart the system so let's wait for a couple of minutes so that you know the certificate uh, server is restarted and then we'll try to access the certificate So the system is up. Let's try to access this again. Let's try to open Internet Explorer again. Okay, request for a certificate. Okay, still no luck. Still it is giving me some error. So uh, I'll see where it is uh, creating some problem. Okay, so <clears throat> let's try to restart the certificate uh, authority again and see if it helps. I know uh, we have restarted the server, but still uh, let's give it a try. Sometime, you know, 
uh, these small tricks can work. So I'll stop the certificate authority and then start the service. Okay, so the certificate authority has been started. So let, let's refresh this page and see if it helps. Oh wow, it helped. So in Windows, as you know, right, small restart of services and system can make things work. So. So now if you see in the certificate template, we are able to uh, see web server and client certificate. So now when we are going to install any sort of certificate, we can use this web server and client certificate in order to install the certificate. So the next thing is uh, we have to enable IIS with HTTPS on this server. So right now, if you see, if I go to IIS here, and then server certificate and then so i'll go to default site and then click on bindings so right now if you see only port number 80 is enabled so i'll enable port number 443 https as well and here we have uh, two certificates shown i'll try to select see this certificate click on ok and click on close now let's put a HTTPS here and see what happens oh I need to restart the service let's see again okay I'll just try to see if IS is opening. Okay, looks like there is an issue with IIS 443. Let's see if port number 8 is working. Okay, port number is 8 is working, but not port number 443. Uh, let me check the binding here first. Okay, let me select this certificate here, SSL certificate with the uccollabing.com and let me also try to restart the services from here okay the services has been restarted let me try dot collabing.com and see if it works oh wow so it is working right now so i'm able to open the hostname dot uccollabing.com and the certificate seems to be valid i hope uh, this video is informative for you and you by watching this video you are able to install the certificate authority server create a template and install the certificate in the is server in the next video what we are going to create is we are going to uh, you know modify the iso file and then <clears throat> we are going to you know install it on the call manager as well thank you for watching this video